Right, so we're here with Jeremy Bray, the uh, head coach of the Monster Reds. Um, we're just going to have a bit of a chat, a bit of a get-to-know-you session. Um, so, Jeremy, you're very welcome along to Cork Harlequins. The sun is shining for now anyway, so you're very welcome, mate. Um, so, we'll just kick off. How long have you lived in uh, Ireland, Jeremy? Then, yeah, oh, it's so long I, uh, I'm struggling to remember myself. <laughs> really? But I think about... Uh, I think it's around 16 years now. That wow. was uh, split up between six years in Denmark as well. But I travelled yep. back and forth quite a bit when I was yeah. when I was over there to All see right. the, uh, family. Yeah, you your family in Denmark, have you? No, in in Ireland. In Ireland, Ireland. sorry. Yeah, oh, yeah, back. yeah, my yeah. Two, yeah. My two boys uh, are Irish um, born, and my uh, wife is as well. Very good. Irish. <laughs> Irish. Excellent. Very good. So what brought you to Ireland in the first place then? Uh, my first wife. Your first wife? <laughs> yeah. She was a uh, yeah, glutton for punishment. Excellent. No, was, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I met her in, uh, in Australia. Yeah. Um, yep. She was living there. Yeah. Um, and her father got cancer. And, right. Yeah, unfortunately. And that's, hence, um, she came back and then I followed her yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. Very good. Okay. So, Jeremy, can you tell us a bit about your playing career, a club and international, whatever, whatever you, you, you've achieved along the way, you feel? Yeah, geez, it's a, uh, a long one, long story, I suppose. I grew mm. up in um, pretty much Strathfield, mm-hmm. in, uh, well, I don't know, which is inner west Sydney. Yep, That'd be yep. fair enough to say. Yep. I went to school at Christian Brothers High School, Lewisham, where I, you know, played my school cricket and... Literally not too far from them was uh, Petersham Marrickville District Cricket Club. Huh. Very close. So that's how yep. I, that's where I started my sort of um, club cricket. Yeah. Uh, Petersham Marrickville. Worked my way up through the grades to you know first grade, um, and then I was uh, asked to join St George, the prestigious club, St George yeah. District Cricket Club, by Murray Bennett. Rang me the famous Murray wow. Bennett, yeah. and uh, spent three seasons there when I left at 23 to come to Ireland. Um, I played through when in, in the sort of you know the underage sort of um, Australian setup. You know the New South Wales under 19s, the Australian under 19s. And I played two list A New South Wales games. I uh, was lucky enough to room with Mark Taylor on one of them. <laughs> <laughs> lucky and, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah lucky yeah. me. And yeah, then, yeah, yeah. yeah, I left to follow uh, my first wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Back to uh, Ireland as a, you know, as a father who was uh, you know, terminally ill. And, yeah, yeah. You know, that led to that. And yeah. there was, unfortunately, in those days, there was no contracts or anything like that, yeah. like the money it is now. So, yeah. you know, I just yeah. took a punt and, and moved punt. to Ireland. And and then what happened with the, with the Irish setup? How did that all come yeah, about? Yeah, was by chance I was living down the country and people heard friends of my ex-wife said, uh, you know, he plays cricket, blah blah blah. And then I met with um, Roland Bradley from Portleash Cricket Club, yeah. who was looking keen for me to join them. But when I told him sort of the level that I'd played, he goes, "You better move up. To Dublin. <laughs> yeah. You better go to Dublin." Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he recommended his son was actually affiliated with uh, Phoenix Cricket Club. Yes. So yes. that's how I sort of uh, got to Phoenix and I spent six great years there yeah. before I played at a few a few um, you know various clubs in in Leinster and also played up in Belfast mm. with CIYMS CIYMS a fantastic club yeah. one of my favorite clubs yeah. and also in Eglinton in the northwest so I played you know most of the regions bar down in Munster bar in Munster yeah and it was fantastic experiences in all of them so and yeah. then See after you know five, then it was five years qualification. Um, I got picked to play for Ireland. Yeah, which was great. Yeah, and enjoyed a nice journey there. Yeah, well, give us a bit of a snapshot about your your, your Ireland days then, because I'm I'm old enough to to remember you playing. So, but, <laughs> but quite a few of our um, readers are, are a bit younger. So, can you give us a snapshot of your experiences with Ireland? Yeah, well, it's it's certainly totally different now. Like, I mean, fully professional now. Then we all had. You know, day jobs, yep. and we, you know, we were, we played more against the counties than anything, um, but we would literally meet up a couple of days before, uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> a match, and that was the way it was. But we were, I think, you know, they talk about that, the change in Irish cricket, that uh, I think that era, that, um, you know, 2007, they say, but it really probably started around 2005. Yeah, you know, we had, you know, a few. Um, overseas uh, foreigners like myself, yeah, Craig yeah, yeah. Johnson, Langford Smith, yeah. uh, Andre Botha, who you know had all played ve- very high levels of cricket back in South Africa or Australia, and, and some very good uh, Irish players. So um, 
you know, and it sort of kicked on from there. We had some great results that probably people didn't know about. I mean, yeah. Surrey and yes, the yeah, West yeah. Indies. Yeah, and, yeah that was a big you one, know, we had We won the Intercontinental Cup mm, mm. and these type of things. So it just, yeah, it was a great, you know, when I was involved, probably a great three or four year period where yeah. you know, Irish cricket really started to move forward. Started to move forward. Yeah. Brilliant. Fantastic. Okay, so you, you had a, a really good career with Ireland and then... How did that then lead into becoming appointed as the Munster Reg senior coach, the, the head yeah, coach? How did that well, come well, about? Well, I suppose the co- I think I felt I actually fell into coaching, which was uh, probably to just trace it back a little bit. Um, I remember when Mark Arroway was the performance director of mm. uh, Cricket Ireland, and I'd heard some really good things about him. Guys were you know very impressed, especially with his coaching ability. And I just had rung him up one day and I said, I'd like to meet you. I've heard some great things. I'm yeah. really keen to get involved. And sort of it started then. I, you know, was with the the Irish under-19s mm. and the Wolves. And I moved into the Irish women's the as head coach. And then I moved to Denmark as their national coach for six years. And then spent a brief period in Vanuatu and, you know, through COVID and came back. And then... Um, joined the hills as head coach and then the Munster sort of job became available mm. and I went for the job and yeah and here you are it. yeah here I am fantastic in beautiful Quinn's Cricket Club oh, overlooking come on. the youngsters what, what, what a spot eh it is beautiful yeah, yeah. It's, it's a fantastic day and it's not freezing cold for once no which is nice. no 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 and and because we don't have video on as such uh, Jeremy's looking at our um, under 17 potential interpro side uh, training and practicing very hard for trials because we've got the interpros coming up very soon so yeah so, okay, um, keeping in mind that we're looking at the kids here, the, well, these are under-17s, yeah. how do you see the progression of youth in Munster? What's, the, what's their pathway potentially? If, if one, of the, one of these kids said, hey, Jeremy, I'd love to play for the Reds, what, what, what are you looking for? What's the process? Well, I suppose then, you know, through club cricket there, to get into the heat and I suppose in the Reds they need to be playing, I would imagine, first-team cricket and, um, you know, performing very well for, you know, for their club sides mm, and then... Mm. Obviously, then they get opportunities. Hopefully, you know, for the heat, and then yes, you know, into the to the monster side. Yeah, that's brilliant, fantastic. A um, couple of quick ones just to finish off with. What how, what would you see as your coaching philosophy? How do you approach coaching as such? It's a good one. My philosophy is has changed so much. And mm. I think it, I probably always will. You know, that you're always trying to learn and develop as a coach from what it was when I first started to now is totally different. But what what I would say is I think what's important for me around coaching is definitely getting to know the individual I know it's yep. probably a bit of a cliche but it's yep. so true yep. you get to know the person as a person um, and create that trust mm. then you're more likely to for them to open up to you and yep. and be able to um, help them I suppose along their journey right yeah developing yep. as a cricketer and, and as a person yeah so the classic sort of player centered coaching approach um, yeah, with, yeah within a team environment absolutely yeah, but yeah, I think yeah. if you can get the best out of the individual then yeah I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I would imagine then the, the team is going to flourish. Yeah, that's brilliant. Look, just a couple of fun ones to finish off with. Um, who were your childhood cricket heroes? Casting your mind back. Yeah, I mean, to the good old days. Listen, loved Alan Border. Yeah. Jeff Thompson. Yeah. Um, yeah. David Hooks, the late yeah, great Hooksy. David yeah, Hooks. Yeah, he was yeah. he was a star, wasn't he? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, and of course, Viv Richards. Oh, yeah. Goodness, well, you, you, could, you can't you can't go past. No. no the King Viv was just unbelievable. All right, so, and finally, who's the best player you ever played with in a team, do you think? Uh, it would have been, as a batter, yep. without a doubt, Adam Gilchrist. Adam Gilchrist, yeah. yeah. Unbelievable, yeah. unbelievable. He's actually my son's favourite player. He's yeah. watching all the ancient yeah. YouTube oh. videos. How well, old are we? Yeah. <laughs> and, and and finally, who's the, the best player you ever played against then, do you think? Well, well one of the Brian best. Lara was, and Gilchrist, ah. but Brian Lara, lucky to play against him a couple of times. Um, I would have said Sachin Tendulkar, but yep. I haven't played against him. Right, fair enough. But he's fair my enough. favourite. But without a doubt, yeah. Brian Lara would be the best yeah. um, that I have played against. Brilliant. Well, look, Jeremy Bray, um, head coach of the Munster of Edge, many thanks for your time today. It's been brilliant to catch up with you. And uh, we'll get this out there. And thank you again for your time, sir. No problems at all. Pleasure. Thanks. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Well,